live deer without skinning him. <laughs> oh dear. Brothers of yours, you know that? Holy damn. <laughs> I've skinned some brothers of yours. Yeah, go over and eat. Just went through that damn corral right there. Went under it. How did it get under there? He's wanting some hay grazers, what he's wanting. Hey, nobody. <laughs> what do you know? Let me get out. I don't have nothing for you. Thanks for joining us on JS3 uh, Farms on YouTube. I uh, appreciate you stopping by. And if you're not a subscriber, please do so. Uh, we're going to be hauling some hay, bailing some hay. No telling what. So stay tuned. Videoing much today, but uh, I bailed 30 bales this morning. Started at 6 a.m. You saw that, and uh, then after that, I went and loaded up two bales in a horse trailer <laughs> to a good customer. And uh, he don't bail or he don't buy a whole bunch of hay at one time, but he he uh, he buys a few bales, and I appreciate every every bale sold. So every customer, no big. Uh, big or small and uh, I've been hauling a lot of hay to ranches um, I think I'm trying to think where all I've been I've been up to Clovis a couple times uh, delivering uh, I went to uh, yeah I went to Clovis two times yesterday and I went to uh, uh, Pep New Mexico uh, one time yesterday and this is my second trip Right now you can see I'm loaded. The dumbbells are on the back. <laughs> uh, headed to Pep again with a second load today. And boy, it's rough. It's Dora Highway 206. Heading, heading straight south out of Portales. It's a rough. And they just resurfaced it. And it goes to show you State of Mexico Highway Department. I'm sorry, but y'all don't know what you're doing. But anyway, uh, Head down here with the third and last load down here to Pep. Then I'm gonna load up, hopefully, and meet a guy at six, just right west of Floyd, and dump uh, the third load today. And then uh, tomorrow I got 60 bales to deliver to Portales. And, uh, you know, probably, probably not gonna get to bail all weekend. I like 320 acres of mine. And uh, uh, probably not going to get to bail it until next week. We might have some humidity. We've been waiting on humidity forever. And uh, just barely, barely gets wet enough every morning since I've been wanting to bail it. And uh, the wind's supposed to blow on Sunday about 30 or 40 mile an hour. It's supposed to blow in a front. It's supposed to get cooler next week. So I'm hoping it'll bring in some moisture in here off that hurricane or something. And maybe we'll get some get, get some bailing humidity. So, but anyway, that's what we've been doing. And uh, you know, we'll uh, we'll just play it how it goes. That's how harvest is, you know. Harvest is just pull, you know, hang on, and uh, you know, just kind of the hot seat, just one from the other to the other to the other. So, but we'll uh, we'll go from there. Well, still at it. I took a little bit of a nap today, but now we're, I've hauled one load of hay today and then we're fixing to go dump another. So just about got this load finished off. So we, uh, this is where we round bailed the other day on West and all these round bales are sold. I like to pick up hay from the side. I don't know if I've 
showed y'all or told y'all before, but when I'm loading these cradle trailers, I really, really do like it. It's just I have, I have less trouble. I have popped a bale before. I popped one yesterday, but, but that's just what I like to do. Loading up 20, this trailer holds holds 20. I have modified this trailer. I think I've told some of y'all about it before, but I braced the bottom with uh, some bridge bracing. And then I have put a tailgate. I'll show you here. These bales will fall down in this. Pull them right out. You don't even see where my prongs went. I'll show you here. You can see that they're in the cradle and I put a tailgate on the back so they won't even slide off now. They kind of just perfectly fit in there. Those bells are weighing 1375. So I've got a pretty good load with 20 on there. We'll go ahead and spot this, spot this loader now for my next load. And I don't know where I shall get it, but probably I'll go ahead and try to get it right over here. I'll probably park the truck right in there somewhere. Yeah, I like to get them from the side, and and it's it's kind of delicate work. I I've put a couple more smaller prongs on here. I'll show you here in a second that really aid in this. And some people don't like them, but you know, those some people don't own this, so <laughs> but they really work good with round bells. They kind of kind of holds that bale steady when I do this right here and that's the whole purpose of me doing it is so I could load that cradle trailer and it helps load them from the side too but it don't help uh, with square bales at all it really hinders the squares so I don't necessarily like it uh, you know 100% but with round bales doing, doing this I, I really do so, put this thing right here, right next to that bell. Kind of hard to do one-handed. And I'll pull them out here, and we'll just we'll get we'll get ready for next load. I really like this loader. This lo this loader's badass. It really is. Put on the parking brake. And I'll go ahead and kill it. Yeah, this loader here, you can see the extra prongs I put on here. This is a, a Titanberg made in, in Clovis. It's uh, on my quick attach system on my on my 524K. And I added these prongs here. And the reason being is that way you could haul one bale this way you could haul with three prongs and they won't uh, turn on you as bad but then i found going into them from the side so you can't even see where i even poked you count on that one right over there see that one but you can't even see where i poked with those and i really like it i'll show you well as you can see here here's my load and you barely can see where I probed them in the sides of them bales. And I really do like that. These better built trailers are awesome. I really like these better built. Um, there's some things that I've done to it, like this, this bridge bracing here. Where am I at here? Yeah, this bridge bracing here, I've added that. But uh, the other goosenecks are just awesome. They're built great. And, uh, you know, better built trailers are better built. I like them.
you know I'm not too uh, I like I, I like little Jimmy don't get me wrong but he sure knows how to get stuck out in the field I've had I had to push it out once the other day but uh, here for the most part I, I can get around pretty good I get over on the east they're on Jackie's and, and it just won't work uh, everywhere else it's, it's pretty good so I can't complain. I've got a good loader. I can I can bring bales to me. But for the most part, if you'll uh, you know take off kind of slow and you can not split your wheels and not spin your wheels. I really need some more aggressive tires. I really need a full drive. But if I want to, you know, if I'm gonna spin my wheels, you know, if I just hold it into that, that torque converter curve there and and just keep torque on, on my on my wheels and, and not try to spin them. You know, it, it works out good. You know, I'm you know, I'm an old firefighter and uh, an old wildland firefighter around here. We you know, with a you know a, a big water truck with four thousand gallons on it out there in the middle, of, or two thousand gallons on it out there in the middle of a fighting fighting fire out there in the middle of a sand dune. You learn a lot of tricks. And there's a lot of places you can't go. That's the that's the that's the best lesson learned. But then you also learn how to uh, how to uh, how to drive in the sand. You know how to keep from spinning your tires. How to use a higher gear uh, and try not try to lug out and not not spin your tires. Now, there's a lot of little old tricks and the, the biggest trick though like I said is where not where where you don't go oh what a great day man 60 bales hauled and a lot more rigged up for tomorrow I got uh, two loads to deliver down by pep tomorrow and then uh, I got 60 to deliver on Saturday and then I got 20 to deliver Sunday. And maybe we can bell hay next week. Sure not getting much humidity this week, that's for sure. But maybe so. In the loader today, going home in a Chevy. Pray. <laughs> With the sunset in the back. It's a good day today. Will it do it? Come on, little bastard. Uh, I think it's gathering it up. Got to just try not to spin tires. Yep, I made it. Oh, wow. That was close. This little bow tie. His little nads hadn't dropped yet, I don't think. <laughs> wow, that was close. I got it though now. Well, thanks for joining us. And uh, hey, another video's headed your way in another few days. So stick around, stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, that little gray bell on the end. You'll be notified of my next upload. And uh, God bless. Thank you.